guys, it's Moya here from 876 Barbies and I'm back with a little bit of another maternity video. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what is in my mommy and me bag. As you guys can see them, I'm loving my baby bag. Isn't it cute guys? It's yeah, it's very fashionable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off by showing you what's in my bag, what I'm going to carry to the hospital what I need or at least what they say I need um, and what I'm carrying for the baby as well. Here in Jamaica we don't get stuff like diapers and we don't get stuff. Let's just say that. We don't get stuff. So we have to carry most of the stuff for the baby. Um, so I'm carrying stuff for the baby and myself. So, Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys what is in my bag first. So let's get into it. Alright, so in the little compartment, we have the essentials that we need. You know, a toothbrush, toothpaste, toothbrush. I have a little sample of perfume here. So you know, you might just need it, even though it might affect the baby. But I'll try not put it. I'll try not to put it in places where it would affect the baby. I'm just gonna throw these down for now. A little bottle of lotion, face wash, yeah. Um, this is my Vichy face wash. Um, nipple cream, cause you know we'll be nursing. The hospital that I'm going to is pro breastfeeding, so they don't really allow formulas. They're going to teach us and show us how to breastfeed. So I'm, I'm hearing that I might need this, cause it's going to be hard. So. I got that. That wasn't on my list. Um, bath soap. Um, I'm using kind proactive bath soap and a scent, scent Eve's um, cleaning wash. This proactive it is because I really like the scent of it because it's so clean. It will make me feel comfortable being in a public bathroom because it really annoys me to go into public bathrooms. Like who likes to show up? Where 10 million and odd people has been. Um, my deodorant at the travel size. Alright, the so next thing is a slip. They actually said we need two of these just in case TMI, we get messy and get blood all over ourselves. So I need to get one more, but I only have one right now. Uh, maternity bra. This is mine. Never been worn. I haven't started wearing it yet. And then I also have my undergarments. And I'm going to show you guys that that's just weird. And that's what's in the small compartment. Alright, so in the big compartment, I have tissue. Because we need to carry tissue. Why? I really don't know. Why they couldn't. But it's Jamaica. I guess we have to carry one to see. Um, then I have maternity pads. These are some long pads. And this, this is the one with the adhesive. Adhesive. And they actually say we should have the ones with adhesive and the one with soap. But I did not get the one without adhesive because I can't find it nowhere. And I'm not going to trust myself. Because I'm hearing that from other moms that have been in the experience. Before me, they're saying that they only take out one and then take the pack. I'm like, so I'm going to buy it and you take the whole pack and I only get one? No, I'll just buy one and not stress myself. So yeah. Then I have my sleepwear, night gowns, go and gowns. So I have the nighty and the gowns. They're, they said we should have something like this. Um, so I have about three or four here. So these are what I'll be wearing. Um, then I also have my, I don't know what the, the, the term they call this. I don't know what they call this. But it's the thing, the gown with the opening at the back. I carry that just in case they have it so I can use it. So it, it, it's a hospital gown. <laughs> yes, yeah, so with the opening at the back. So I carried a cute one so I can feel comfortable just in case they're going to put me in their own. 
and let's see how that goes next I have a bathroom so I can sit around when I'm going to the bathroom or when I'm just going outside of my room in my nightgown I have a rubber slippers for the bathroom because as I said it's an icky thought bathing in a public bathroom you don't know who have what or what they're doing in the bathroom I have my what going home dress yes I'm wearing a dress this maternity dress from Old Navy it has a little bit of ruching so it will still cover the tummy that might still be there and it's comfortable so that's what I wanted to wear if you want to wear any pants and anything that's too clean I have two rags and my towel so that's that for my bag <laughs> Alright guys, so um, I'm going to show you guys now what's in the baby's bag. Um, this is the baby bag. It is from Skip Hop. It's, you done dead? Alright guys, so this is the baby's bag as I was saying. It is from Skip Hop. Um, it's very cute. Yeah, so in this compartment should be two sterilized bottles, but I forgot to put them in there because I haven't sterilized them as yet. So that will be going in there in the first compartment here. In this compartment, I have alcohol. We need to bring alcohol, 70% alcohol. So that's that. I have the baby soap. They said we can bring baby soap or soap substitutes. So I'm bringing soap. Um, I just have this just in case I need to put something in there. And that's a way for a zip lock bag. Um, I have extra virgin olive oil. They say that we need this just in case the baby is a little bit dry. When they're bathing the baby, they put it. They will put it in the baby's water for the dryness of the skin. For overdue babies, they generally have dry skin. That's what the nurse told us. Um, so yeah, I have that. <clears throat> I have the what do you call this rash diaper cream. I'm carrying the zinc ointment. Um, that's that for that section. In this section now, I have diapers. I have about eight diapers, newborn diapers. I don't know if I need to get bigger sizes or what, but I'm just carrying these for now. <laughs> I'm just carrying these for now. My, my, my friend behind the camera hey. said no. <laughs> so I have these I have eight of these I might put two more to have ten I think I'll be carrying nappies as well because I want to do nappy yeah that might sound very strange for somebody cloth, diaper. cloth diapers but nappy we call it in Jamaica um <clears throat> I want to do that it sounds strange for somebody in this day and age to be doing nappy but I oh, want to do that. them uh, and in the big compartment now, I have cotton balls, cotton rounds. Um, I don't know what we need this for, but they said we need to carry cotton. I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. I also have the baby's <laughs> towels. I have bath towel and some receivers. Well, I should have more than one receiver, but I only picked up one. And baby rag. Um, last thing in this compartment are the baby's clothes. So they're all washed and ironed. Here in Jamaica, for some strange reason, we iron everything. And we have to iron baby clothes. I've not ironed in years. So, yeah. Anyways, so for baby cream puff, I'm bringing a shirt. 
everything is neutral, sex neutral, unisex, because I don't know what a baby is, as you guys know from the previous video. Um, so everything is neutral, so I don't know. Um, even though I think my aunt spoiled it for me yesterday, but I'm just going to in my pretend like I didn't hear what she said. So I'll continue. So I have a shirt and a shirt to go together. Isn't this cute? It says I love honey with Pooh Bear on the front. I, that. I have love that. <laughs> it's so cute to go with the gray shirt. I think this will be his going home outfit. I'm not sure. And I say him because I'm Jamaican. We call everything him. him. <laughs> so I just, just say him. Um, then I have this little set. Which is so cute. With duckies on it. A onesie. And a short. Or pants. Whatever you want to call it. Ooh, it's so cute, isn't it? Wow, very tiny. <laughs> And then I have <clears throat> this blue shirt. I'm I carrying two of these things just in case it's a sex specific. So this is like if it's a boy, I'll probably put this on for a picture um, in the hospital, like his first pictures. And this one says, oh, it's not this one. One of them says. Yes, Something. this one says fashionably cute and it kind of looks girly. So this will be the first picture with if it's a girl. So yeah. And then we have two other onesies, a regular white onesie and a kind of shimmy shirt. Just in case they say I can't put on the onesie because sometimes they say no onesie because of the umbilical cord, you don't want to irritate it. So let's have this just in case. We are done. Action come already. Alright, so that's that in that compartment. To the side, the bag has two compartments. One has in. One has in. I have two little socks. This to match the yellow outfit. So the baby will be in full stripes with the keys. And then this little one with the keys. And then we have baby gloves to put on the baby hand. So he doesn't scratch himself or just just in case he sucks finger, we're gonna put the gloves on him. No sucking finger. And then we have baby booties. Are these cute? <laughs> and big. And then we have baby hats because they said we need hat too because that's where baby lose most of the heat in their from their feet and their head. So we need to cover up the baby head. So I have two little hats, a grey one and this one for when he's going home. Um guess this is enough because they didn't tell us the amount. So I guess they'll just use that. Um and that's it really for the bag. What else is in the bag is the changing mats and a wipe. Um, this is the one that I bought. The bag also comes with a changing mat, but I think this is too small for a baby. So this is just to put the bottle, not to put the whole baby. I need to put the whole baby on a mat. I ain't holding no baby in no hand and changing no yeah, the size. The baby was small. Yeah, but as the baby grew, the bag will grow with the baby. Yes, so I have a changing table and oh, I have a plastic bag because they say we need to put a compare plastic those bag. Two. Huh? Compare those two, the two changing mats. Yeah. How do I compare those? So. Alright guys, so that's it for the baby's bag and that's it for the video. That's it for my mommy and me hospital bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, well, let me say something. There's also, I've heard from other persons that have had kids that at the other hospital here in, here in Jamaica, they need, um, what do you call, depositories to wash out the bottom 
but my hospital did not say I need to get that sign up for that kind of traumatizing to wash out the bottom so that there's no feces in there so you don't get feces on the baby when you're having the baby because that can happen and that can affect the baby can cause the baby to be sick or all that all of that all that jazz um what else have I heard um some person said I'm bringing a lot, especially persons who have baby overseas, but this is what I need here in Jamaica. Um, well, that's what my hospital said I need to carry. Um, I also need to carry some money for registration and a blood donor slip and a crib net. Those things I need to get at a later date. Well, I need to get them like ASAP actually. But I'll get those later after this video, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope guys hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what is different in your baby bag if you had a has have had a baby before. And yeah, tell me about your experience. Let, let's talk down below in the comments. Alright, guys, so this is Moya Lovely saying goodbye. And to remember to wear the best you for the world to see. Love you dolls.